So we're looking at the clutch assembly on a 1981 Yamaha G1, uh, also known as a as the primary sheave, and uh, a few maintenance issues. When I opened this up, it was just dirty, dusty, even surface rust. Uh, some uh, uh, I'll call it kind of a dry, flaky, dusty rust. So on the weight pins, basically what I noticed. Uh, so I had them marked. Uh, so on one side you can see that they're kind of scarred, kind of worn, and uh, so there's really, sorry, trying to get that to focus on there, here we go. Uh, so there's some wear on one side. So what I'm going to do is simply rotate it over, flip it over, whatever, so the, the wear is now, or the uh, wear point is now uh, on the, let's say, a fresh side of that pin. Now, according to the parts book uh, that I've seen, some later models also had a, a plastic washer on uh, either, side of the, uh, either side of the weight pin or the weight. Uh, this one does not have those. And so uh, we've also noticed that inside the weight itself is a little uh, rusty, so we're going to clean that off, clean that out, and apply some lubricant. Looking at the other side of the primary sheave, uh, basically the, not the fixed side, but the uh, sliding side, is basically a wear pattern here on the outside of these uh, uh, slide arms. And so these plastic or nylon sliders, what I'm gonna do is basically the same thing. Take them out and reverse them. Now I just tried to loosen these screws with a uh, screwdriver and by hand. I didn't want to use an impact driver, no power tools involved. Uh, so what I did is dug out, I uh, found I've got an impact driver and got the best fitting uh, 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 screwdriver tip in there and put that in there and whacked it away a, a couple times. That's why it's sitting on these boards and that's how I loosened these screws. So uh, we're going to take all of these sliders out, just simply do a 180 on them like we're doing on the pins, lubing them up. Next thing is, so, you know, this uh, movable piece of the sheath, uh, also it's, it's on a, uh, a bushing, so that needed some cleaning. We'll have to do some lubrication, but there are also, there are two O-rings in this Part of the sheath. There's one on each side, so this is the one I've got removed, and then there's one in there as well. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that very well. So had a little trouble tracking down, or uh, I called a Yamaha dealer, and uh, apparently they only show one of these in existence in the United States. So measured basically the outside diameter of that is about 33 millimeter the thickness of it the roundness of it uh, is about three millimeters so 33 minus three minus three takes us down to about 27 in uh, inside diameter and if i look closely at this or i can actually feel it this has formed a flat spot from where it slides up and down um, that shaft. And that shaft measures, I believe, 28 millimeters outside diameter. So uh, I ran around town, looked around, but basically I headed to my John Deere dealer and they helped me out and found an O-ring that is part number U17409, this O-ring. And so it measures just shy of three millimeters in thickness. And it is 27 inches inside diameter. So uh, let me figure out, let's pull one out of the package and uh, see how it lines up. So here we've got the new O-ring sitting on top of the old one and it's a damn close match for what I was able to find uh, locally. And uh, so with using the calipers, it's got an outside diameter of about uh, just shy of 33 millimeters. And uh, I believe the measurement was just, just, just fractions, fractions uh, less than three millimeters. So 
that's the closest we're going to get uh, without waiting for uh, or finding somebody that's got one on the shelf from Yamaha or waiting for Yamaha to ship it from Japan. So that's what we got going on here. Uh, basically, we'll uh, lube those pieces up, rotate them, flip things around, reassemble them, uh, put some new uh, O-rings uh, inside this uh, uh, movable sheath and uh, lubric we've finished cleaning uh, that bronze or that bushing inside adding some lubricant which I need to figure out which is the proper lubricant so that when we're all set and done this thing will slide up and down readily um, and we'll have a smoother operating clutch so just a little maintenance ideas and uh, maybe uh, what you can do to help out your car because this thing was just dirty and I can't imagine it had any smooth operation at all and even this did not slide worth a darn because there was so much there was so much dirt and grime inside and, and just lack of lubricant inside that bushing and on that shaft that uh, you know it, it wasn't going to move smoothly at all so just another uh, component as we near uh, or start reassembling uh, uh, the entire engine and drivetrain.